Hi all, and welcome to our Palm Sunday video service. We hope you are safe and well, and that you have managed to get back into the school routine, and that includes the parents. These are strange times, not being able to see our family and our friends, not being able to hug, not even being able to go to the barbers. Do you like my hair? Well, we are looking forward to a time when we can meet together face to face, but we have to be patient as we want everyone to be safe. Hopefully by the time summer arrives, we'll be able to meet, but bear with us and be patient. Today's video and activities are all about Palm Sunday. Hopefully you all have your activity packs, which Helen will tell you about. But first, I will hand you over to Lee for the Bible reading. Hi everyone, it's me. Uh, it's been a long time, but unfortunately I still support Newcastle and Witness, so it's not been that long yet. <clears throat> Uh, the reading today is taken from Mark chapter 11. As they approached Jerusalem near the towns of Bethphage and Bethany, they came to the Mount of Olives. Jesus sent two of his disciples on ahead with these instructions. Go to the village there ahead of you. As soon as you get there, you will find a colt tied up that has never been ridden. Untie it and bring it here. And if someone asks you why you are doing that, Tell them that the master needs it and will send it back at once. So they went and found a colt out in the street, tied to the door of a house. As they were untying it, some of the bystanders asked them, What are you doing untying that colt? They answered just as Jesus had told them, and the bystanders let them go. They brought the colt to Jesus, threw their cloaks over the animal, and Jesus got on. Many people spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches in the fields and spread them on the road. The people who were in front and those who followed behind began to shout, Hooray! God bless the ones who comes in the name of the Lord. God bless the coming kingdom. Hooray for God in heaven above. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Lee. Can you imagine all of those people coming out to cheer Jesus as he rode into town on his donkey? It would be like being at a big celebration parade, maybe like when Liverpool won the Champions League. Everyone lying in the streets, hanging out of windows, throwing their scarves and hats at the coach as it goes by, lying in the streets and cheering. Or maybe at a big rugby match, all of the crowd cheering for their heroes. And if someone scores, especially if it's one of the star players, the crowd will go crazy. And then maybe if it's a football game, the, the goal scorers will do a goal celebration and the crowd will be making lots and lots of noise. A bit like these celebrations now. <laughs> Thanks to all who shared their celebrations. Much appreciated. Helen is going to talk next, but before that, we're going to have a song. Hosanna in the Highest. Hearts full. 
Today is Palm Sunday. Happy Palm Sunday everyone. Today is the day that Jesus slowly made his way into Jerusalem. People were so pleased to see him that they were waving palm leaves. Something like that. Palm branches stood in those days for goodness and victory, which is why they were waving them. We often, in church on Palm Sunday, give out something like this. And this is made out of this. So it's made out of dried palm leaves, which have been blessed. So, when you open your little activity pack. There will be one of these in there and some stickers and bits and bobs. So your challenge is to decorate them and you could make something like this. You could make a poster to put in your window. You could make a picture to put in your bedroom or you could decorate the cross and give it to somebody else. So that's what today is about and that's what these are about. They're about God's goodness. We give these out to praise and honour Jesus because he was good, just like you lot. Have a lovely Palm Sunday. Thanks, Helen. So everyone, get busy being creative. Whether you add glitter, put stickers on, or just leave them plain, remember to show us what you have done. I know lots of older people who love to receive a Palm Cross, so maybe you could give yours to someone you know. We will be doing more activities and videos next Friday, which is Good Friday, and on Easter Sunday. So look out for the activity packs. But before we go, Emma is going to say a prayer for us. Heavenly Father, help us to celebrate and cheer for you like the crowd stood in the story. But also remind us that you are there for us when we are sad, or when we need a helping hand, or when we are tired. Help us to show others the way towards Jesus by being good, by smiling, and by showing them that we love them and care for them. Amen.